So this week I've been converting this 59 genuine frog eye sprite into half elliptic rear springs, which I've done before and it's quite a complex operation, especially on a car that's got all the original floor pans in it. So down here, this is the original quarter elliptic type spring, which bolts into the front cavity in the floor pan. And this is what we've put on it, a half elliptic type rear spring. So if you come around this way, I'll show you a little bit more of the details. So down at that end, that's where the main issue has been, where you have to cut all the original section out of the car and then fit the new later type spring boxes. At the back end, you have to re-drill it to fit uh, the rear shackle mounting plate. And these are the springs. We could not get the right springs from anywhere, so we made our own. That's it, they work well. Using the original midget shock absorber link arm, the shock absorber's in the same place. I had to cut all the, the top mount off of here mainly because it wasn't in very good condition and I, it just gave us a little bit more room as well. If we come round to the other side of the car, I'll show you what I had to do with the panard rod because there was nothing left on the axle to attach the panard rod to. So I made this clamp on bracket that goes really tight on the spring and that will go up and down in the same plane as the spring and it actually gives us a perfectly straight panard rod shoot from side to side. Um, that's it, it sounds simple, but there's a lot of playing around trial and error. Because if we look at these sizes, this 35 centimeters, that was from the bottom of the arch to the center of there originally, with the car on lowered quarter elliptic springs. And when we fitted the springs that we bought, supposedly the right ones, it went up to 38. Even with lowering blocks on it, it wasn't an ideal solution. But with our own springs on there, it's now perfect. We've actually a fraction lower than that and both sides of the car are level now. That's it. I would say if you're going to do it, it's, the results are worth it, but it's quite a big job. And we'll go and see how it goes. We're racing it next week at Snetterton and see how it all goes.